PLCs with the Springfield Church of the Brethren. Um, and I'm bringing you a story about uh, building uh, housing on uh, church property. Um, back in the uh, 50s, 40s and 50s, our congregation built a large church building uh, in a residential neighborhood. And then in the uh, early 80s, uh, we needed to uh, decide about doing major renovation after a fire in the building or what we're going to do next. And uh, we decided to buy an acre of rundown property on Main Street in Springfield, an old motel that was no longer functioning as a motel. And um, so we bought that acre of property not knowing uh, how we would go about developing it, but knowing that it was uh, a place where we wanted to be to do our mission. And so we started doing uh, uh, shelter for uh, people off the streets just with volunteers and immediately knew we were in over our heads and got into partnership with Eugene Emergency Housing to organize the service provision and train staff and, and so on. And um, so we continued uh, doing that for uh, 20 years while we uh, tried to figure out how we could uh, redevelop the site. And about uh, 2005 or so, um, we had a, a separate nonprofit corporation called Brother Community Services uh, that got serious about um, figuring out how to start replacing some of the buildings with new construction. And um, we uh, consulted with a lot of people, uh, various organizations around town, and uh, finally decided to go into uh, partnership with. Uh, by that time it was called Lane Shelter Care and then Shelter Care um, to build the you know, female apartments. Um, that's on a quarter of the one acre. Uh, it houses uh, 16 folks who are living with severe persistent uh, psychiatric disabilities. That was funded primarily, it's, um, it was like a $2 million project, funded primarily with um, money from HUD through their 811 program. Um, and the whole time we were, uh, it took a couple years to get that all put together, several years, uh, and as we were doing that we were trying to figure out what we were going to do with the rest of the property and continue to look for, for uh, ways of financing uh, further development and partners to work with on that. And we uh, uh, connected with uh, mainstream housing who uh, had been working for uh, 20 or 30 years providing housing for uh, folks with uh, developmental disabilities. And um, uh, they became excited about the possibility of doing something on the site, but um, uh, realized it was over our heads for our resources, so they had the strength to get St. Vincent de Paul involved. So now St. Vincent de Paul is the primary developer on a project we're seeking uh, $7 million uh, altogether to uh, provide uh, 35 one bedroom homes for low income folks, nine of which will be uh, designated for um, clients of uh, mainstream housing with uh, developmental disabilities. And we've got our applications into the state for the major part of that. 